Hi, I'm here with John McKay, news anchor with WFAA. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. My pleasure. About humanities and education in UT Dallas. And so, can you tell us a little bit about your educational background? Sure. My, my dad was in the military. Uh, so I went to high school in Spain, which was, uh, which was really good because it exposed me to uh, another culture. Uh, as a matter of fact, I lived there twice, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. Uh, and so by the time I graduated from high school, uh, I had spent a third of my life outside the United States. Uh, but I came back to the United States. I was curious because I hadn't been in the United States for a long time. I came back. The United States in the early 70s was a very different, very political place. Uh, I went to a Jesuit university, Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. I was fascinated by the Jesuits because uh, they were the, that's the first time I had an educational experience where somebody asked me what my opinion was. Jesuits don't the, they, what, their idea of being a journalist is to learn about the world, which is a humanities uh, understanding. It, it is to learn about uh, what's going on in the world around you, about histories of other people, to come in contact with those things which to you may seem strange or foreign. Uh, so having been overseas and having gone to a Jesuit university where they spend a lot of time telling you you need to pay attention to what other people are doing, then you take those ideas and you write those ideas as opposed to learning uh, the why goes before the who and the, yeah, that sort of thing. Those are, those are really mechanics. Let's go back to your, you being an undergraduate. Okay. How did you know what major you wanted to be? Again, I, I, being in high school overseas, we had no television. I didn't watch television in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade. Uh, we had a radio station, but uh, I, I, I can't honestly tell you that I missed television. But I was fascinated by radio and I was fascinated by sounds. And I was fascinated by what I could learn in radio documentaries, in English and in Spanish, uh, that uh, included natural sound. And I got an internship working at the, at the radio station we had. And uh, believe it or not, they let me have my own little show. It wasn't very much of a show. Fortunately for me, none of those copies still exist. Uh, but that's what I think intrigued me at first, because that was a way that I could explain things to people. I could use sound and ideas and and information and put that all together in, in a way that would an audience would get it and understand it. And then when I got to came back to the United States, I started watching television again, and that was just a natural step for me. So I got a bachelor's degree from Creighton uh, in uh, journalism and mass communications. I went to the University of Dallas and got a master's degree in politics, and there it's ancient politics, so you study the Romans and the Greeks. Uh, you study uh, Montesquieu and, and, and how a government works and what it should be based on. And I'm at UTD, History of Ideas, and it's uh, challenging. <laughs> Good school. Yeah, I'm having great fun. 